Good Anna. afternoon, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about Asian lubrication system. Um, I'm going to start with a brief introduction about what's the meaning of lubrication system. Uh, next slide, please, oh, Mahmoud. Who are the uh, group members? Moaz, Gado, Mahmoud Alosli. Yeah. Osama Rabbi, Zahar. Okay. You can continue. Okay. So the function of lubrication system is to provide enough cool filtered oil to give positive and enough lubrication to all the moving parts of an engine. The job of lubrication system is to distribute oil to the moving parts to reduce the friction between surfaces. Next slide. Next slide, Mahmoud. So components of engine lubrication system, as you can see, the oil sump, the engine, oil filter, the piston cooling nozzles, and oil pump, the oil galleries and oil coolers, and lastly, the oil pressure indicator and light. And in terms of purpose of the engine lubrication system, first we need to lubricate. To lubricate parts to use wear on their surface during friction and cool hot parts, also to clean the surface of parts from small chips, and prevent oxidation of metal elements in contact with air. And lastly, in some unit modification, oil is a working fluid for adjusting hydraulic lifters. So for, uh, next slide please. For the main properties of lubrication, which are usually indicated in the technical of the products, we have viscosity, viscosity index, pour point and flash point. Next slide. So for maintenance, to keep uh, the machine operating at their peak, it's important to keep the lubrication system in tip top shape also. So having a routine lubrication system maintenance program will help ensure surface problem are kept to a minimum. So the lubrication system maintenance checklist, some of them like remove and clean the strainer every month and change line lifter pressure filter, especially every year, check pipe for breaks, check for leaking at all connection points. And now my team at Osama will continue. So we have talked about the um, lubrication system. Um, and we must know that lubrication systems are for uh, engine performance. Um, for the, um, let's discuss every type of them. Um, this system works by mixing the oil and the gasoline together. And actually by using a calibrator and uh, after the combustion happens inside the piston. Uh, Osama. Can you hear me? Your connection is really bad. Yeah, I, 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 called, uh, I called him, so he's going to speak from my mic. Can you hear me? Okay. Because I couldn't hear you, Osama. Oh, it's okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, now it's okay. I repeat. Great, great. Okay. Um, so uh, we have talked about lubrication, lubrication system in general. And I must say that lubrication system is critical for engine performance. Um, now let's talk about the different types of lubrication system. Um, let's start off by the first one, which is called mist lubrication system. And actually this system works by mixing oil with, with gasoline uh, using the uh, calibrator. And after uh, the uh, mixture goes into the, uh, into the chamber, um, an explosion happens and the gasoline evaporates. And then we will be left with the oil which is used to uh, lubricate the parts like the piston and other parts inside the um, engine. Um, the second type is actually the dry sump lubrication system. This system stores a, a larger supply of oil. Uh, it contains an oil, an oil cooler and uh, a control of temperature of the oil. Um, usually it's used in heavy duty vehicles. The last uh, type is the wet sump lubrication system. 
Um, the oil is stored in this system in the trunk case, um, which also serves as an uh, oil cooler and oil tank as well. The oil pump is operated by the decam shaft, and the oil lubricant lubricates the bearing in the piston. Now, um, let's talk about uh, different types of oil. Um, so we have two types, the synthetic oil and conventional oil. Of course, um, when the first engine uh, was invented, they, they were using the conventional oil, and then uh, they uh, created the synthetic oil. Um, the main difference between the two oils is um, where, where they come from, or what is used to make them. Um, conventional oil is made from petroleum, so in a refinery after they um, refine the petroleum, and uh, they take a specific uh, part of it uh, and make it oil for engines. Um, meanwhile, the, synth the, synthetic, the synthetic oil um, is manufactured specifically for uh, this application. Uh, it's made under microscopic level of chemical compounds. Um, we, we can see, uh, like if we, we talk about the uh, chemical formula, uh, the main difference is the, um, uh, is the presence of additive and petroleum content uh, between the two types. Uh, we can also see a table uh, where it differentiates um, both types. Um, uh, we can see like uh, which uh, have different uh, characteristics. But of course, like um, synthetic oil is uh, more expensive than the conventional oil. Um, now we can talk about uh, engine lubrication problem. Um, lubrication systems are important for the engine to function properly. A dry engine can cause many problems and the failure of many parts, which can be caused by falling. So, um, a, a, a failure in the lubrication system can be done by the following uh, reasons. Uh, first, a failed oil pump. Second, a clogged oil pickup screen. The third is low engine oil level. Um, now, uh, let's move to the next slide and see the picture. This picture actually shows uh, a bearing uh, inside of the engine, and uh, as you can see, the uh, bearing is shiny and uh, it has marks of one. This happens uh, uh, when a lack of uh, lubrication uh, happens or a lack of oil uh, happens inside the engine. So this is actually bad. Uh, this can cause an engine failure or a bad performance in the engine. So we would want to prevent that by uh, having enough oil in our uh, lubrication system. Now we can move to my friend. So uh, the lubrication oil requirements. Uh, so these are the requirements for uh, the oil. Uh, so first, uh, the oil should not react with the lubricating surfaces. And also the oil, uh, so a low power point to a low flow of the lubricant uh, at low temperatures to the oil pump. No tendency to form deposits by reacting with the air, water foil uh, of the product of consumption. Uh, so the, uh, the oil should be, should the, we should be able to clean the oil, uh, non-foaming characteristics and non-toxic and inflammable. And uh, uh, of course, uh, it should be low cost. So these are the damaged parts and uh, the reasons. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna talk about uh, these parts, the oil sump, engine oil filter, piston cooling nozzles and oil pump. Uh, for the oil sump, the oil sump is usually powerfully made and uh, durable. Uh, the main reason of a damaged oil sump is hitting the ground while driving or sometimes due to age-related defects. Bad road conditions could cause damage to the oil pan or sump, so the manufacturers provide a stone guard underneath the sump. For the, uh, for the engine oil filter, the filter failure can occur due to bad installation. If it's too loose, the filter will vibrate, causing oil to leak. And if it's too tight, the gasket could be damaged, which could damage the engine. Uh, for the piston cooling nozzles, uh, misalignment and uh, limited oil passages uh, are the most common issues with piston, co with <coughs> piston cooling nozzles. Uh, metal nozzles are quickly bent or shattered as they come into contact with the cylinder part assemblies, while plastic nozzles can crack or break entirely. For the oil pump, uh, there are many reasons uh, that can cause uh, failure, uh, which are uh, low engine oil levels, infrequent oil changes, incorrect bearing clearance, and improper installation, and also engine sludge, 
and uh, wear and tear over time. So for the service life of uh, these components, uh, for the oil sump, the majority of oil pans or oil sumps on the market are made of metal, making them incredibly sturdy. Uh, so the oil pan of an automobile should, in theory, last as long as the engine does. For, for the engine oil filters, most oil filters are changed at an interval of 5,000 to 7,000 7, uh, miles. Uh, but some uh, uh, some suggest that you should change your filter whenever you change your oil. For the oil pump, the oil pump service life is estimated to be between 60 and 70,000 miles. So uh, uh, for the improvements in the parts to increase the performance of the engine, so there isn't much that can be done to increase the performance of the engine by modifying the lubrication system. But a solution can be done by manufacture the oil pump and the piston cooling nozzles with a better material, which has a high resistance to temperature and fatigue. So now Maaz Gadu will continue with the design consideration and limitation. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. So uh, for design consideration and limitation, uh, typically oil velocities in excess of three meters per second in the pickup pipe can result in reducing engine and oil pump life. However, at low temperature, the pressure and lubrication is high due to high oil viscosity. Aeration is another concern, which is caused by crankshaft churning. Oil breaks up uh, typically by a chain, uh, high oil return velocities uh, from the cylinder head and long suction length. If the oil level is too low, the pickup pipe is not fully flooded under all condition, causing air bubbles to be mixed with the oil by the oil pump and circulated around the lubrication system. Also, you should consider the engine running temperature, which range, ranges between 100, uh, 120 and 150 uh, degree for light duty automotive application. If the localized temperature is too high, uh, i.e. 220 uh, degrees for mineral uh, hydrocarbon oils and above 300 for synthetic oils, the oil will likely to carbonize into solid matter, which can accumulate in critical areas of the engine. Next, please. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, for creative ways to reduce wear in engine parts, a company actually have developed a new hard coating that uh, would be applied to engine parts before they leave the factory. This is no ordinary coating. It's an active surface that's permanently bonded to the auto parts. And it doesn't just sit there, it interacts with the, auto, uh, with the motor oil to create a slick carbon film that cuts friction better than oil, uh, than oil would alone. Uh, the new coating also may decrease how often a driver uh, must change the oil, and it can also help reduce the need uh, for metal-based additives for motor oil. Uh, next. <clears throat> so uh, for analysis, uh, anal analysis uh, lubrication system, <clears throat> this analysis was made uh, using two different simulation models, a monodimensional model uh, of the entire lubrication circuit and uh, a three-dimensional model of the oil pump. For the oil pump, uh, this oil pump consists of two gears uh, with the inner rotor uh, rotating off center. The rotors have 12 and 13 teeth, uh, respectively. The outer rotor rotates uh, with an angular velocity that's equal to 12 over 13 of the inner rotor uh, velocity. The analysis was conducting using CFD program pump lengths. <clears throat> so, large no number of simulations have been used to obtain a pump characteristic map in terms of delivery uh, flow rate as a function of pressure the varying shaft angular velocity and oil temperature. These analyses were made uh, at oil temperature of 80, 100 and, uh, 110, 140, and 150 degrees uh, using two different types of oil, 5W40, uh, uh, 0W30, and 10W60. Uh, the model results confirm for each case with uh, an increase of oil temperature, the flow rate value decreases. Next, please. So this is uh, the lubrication circuit model, which is uh, one, uh, one dimensional analysis for lubrication system, which basically describes the flow of the oil inside the engine, uh, also using the same uh, CFD program pump links uh, <clears throat> with the same condition for the temperature and the oil type. Uh, so I, I can describe this in length, but I'm not sure if we have enough time. So should I skip this or describe it also, Hojim? I think it's enough because you, I think you, you have already accessed your time. Okay, so just the conclusion then, uh, just the one uh, thing. Okay. 
the model were used to criti uh, critically analyze the circuit behavior, uh, varying the adapted oil at different temperature. In particular, the circuit was analyzed at low engine speed, which for high oil temperature is the most critical condition. The analyzed engine speeds were 1,000 uh, 1, and 1,800 RPM, uh, while the oil types still the, the same. Uh, the model results uh, highlight at 1,000 uh, engine RPM, the higher level pressure can be reached with the 10 uh, W60 oil, while the lower crankshaft bearing consumption is obtained with the 0, uh, 0 W30 oil. Uh, so in conclusion, the adopted methodology that couples the results of uh, monodimensional and tridimensional model can be very useful to analyze the, and study lubrication circuit and can help designer uh, on, the oil, uh, on the pipe uh, and the oil pipe choice. Uh, thank you for listening. Okay, thank you. So uh, you mentioned different types of lubrication systems in the beginning of your presentation. What are the main differences between this lubrication system? Briefly, can you explain? I think so much more. Main differences between lubrication systems. Can you repeat or some? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, basically, uh, we have different systems for different applications and how complex the system uh, is. I believe the first one. Uh, which we use uh, and mix the oil and gasoline in are used for the cheaper types of uh, engines, maybe for uh, uh, small gasoline engines that are used in farms or so. Um, but it can also be used for older cars. Um, I think the most common um, lubrication system is the one with the pump. Um, so uh, the, the last one, the one where we store the um, oil in, inside of the crankcase, and we have a pump, a spray pump, and and uh, oil filter for it. Um, such um, such system, I think, is the most common in uh, modern vehicles. Okay, uh, what are the engine lubrication pr uh, problems? What are the engine lubrication problems? Uh, Hujam, the the main problem is uh, oil leakage. Mm -hmm. so the friction the, between parts. Sorry, first I I will also take your answer. First, uh, Mahmoud will answer. Then I will take your answer. Okay. 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 So the the main problem is oil leakage. So if if there is oil leakage inside of the engine, friction would happen, which uh which could result in damage to the engine parts, the pistons, the cylinder, and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can take additional answers. Uh, also, okay, Hujam, okay, go 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 that. By so one, Mahmoud, please. Uh, I cannot hear you. Okay. As Mahmoud mentioned, uh, the first problem is about the main problem about friction. If we had, if we don't have uh, that enough of duplication to all the moving part, we have probably uh, friction. Also, one of the problem is when we don't have we don't clean the surface of part uh, regularly every month. That will uh, cause may maybe fatigue or failure in the parts, um, uh, and also to also oxidation of metal elements also can occur if we don't prevent the oxid uh, oxidation uh, regularly every every time. Okay, is oil quality? important for the long-term service life of the engine parts or oil quality? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, can you explain? Um, my opinion, sure, it's different of quality of, of oil will, will uh, uh, have different results, but I'm not, I'm, I don't have that much information about why exactly, but it's, it's, uh, uh, makes sense to if we have different uh, and the quality of oil will will cause a different results for the actually, other parts. Of the actually, Hajam, as as I mentioned, uh, that uh, there uh, uh, in the analysis, the three types of oil were used, uh, and and each one gave different results with the the <clears throat> uh, with the engine RPM. So uh, as I mentioned, like uh, at one thousand RPM, the the oil that 
uh, within the highest uh, level of pressure was the 10W60 oil. So it, 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 I think it's advised with different type of oils, yeah. Okay. So uh, what is where? Where? In which parts of the engine uh, do we observe where? What parts of the engine do we observe where? Yes. Bearings. Bearings, Bearings yeah. Sorry? Bearings you I, I, I couldn't hear. Bearings? Where? Bearings, bearings. Bearings. Only in bearings do we have no, bear? No, 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 no. Not only in bearings, in different types, like even in the uh, head of the piston, um, because you have movement there in the uh, the hand that supports the piston as well. Like, uh, I, I, I more specifically, um, at the edges of the piston, because we know that we have um, separators that prevent the uh, air to uh, to would that prevent air leakage? Because if air leakage happens, um, the efficiency of the engine will be decreased. So because we have a very tight fit between the um, piston and the chamber, uh, we need a lot of lubrication there, because else we will have wear and we will create um, a bad efficient engine. Okay. Uh, how can we prevent wear or how can we decrease the effect of wear in engine parts? Do you have any solution? You know that wear and uh, lubrication uh, of the engine parts are interrelated issues. Yes, Hujan, but... Uh, uh, also, you, you mentioned this issue uh, in the last part of your presentation, as I remember. Yes, Hujam. So basically, we should, like, uh, as we mentioned, uh, the parts of the lubrication systems, the nozzle, the uh, oil filters, this, uh, these parts should be uh, maintained and uh, uh, carefully be watched after. So, uh, so we don't have uh, oil leakage. We don't have low oil uh, levels because if so, if we have oil, uh, like low oil levels, then where would happen? Because the contact would be if, uh, the friction would occur and where would happen. So we should uh, maintain the oil at its uh, suggested levels and we should also use as... Uh, also, uh, uh, with, uh, with new technologies like the, the one I mentioned, that the coating that they add to the, uh, the engine parts that actually prevent uh, the wear uh, and, and helps the, the, the lubrication system uh, be more efficient. Okay, thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you. Thank you.